Natural rubber is a natural polymer. You should have learned polymer in Form 4, right? And the formulas of natural rubbers is C5H8. And N means that it repeats for N time because for that, that is the way that we write the formula for polymer. Okay, so this structure repeats for N times. Huh? So C5H8 and then bracket N. And the N is about 10,000. So this thing repeats for 10,000 times. So it's a very, very long chain. Huh? Very, very long chain uh, polymer. The monomer. The monomers of natural rubbles is uh, C5H8. So this is a structure. This is a structure. So there are five carbon, yeah, five carbons and eight hydrogens. There are two double bonds. So therefore, this is al an alkene, okay, alkene, and it's called isoprene, isoprene. And uh, make sure that you remember this name. Eh? Okay, the monomer, the monomers of natural rubble is the isoprene, or two methyl but one three diene. The methyl attached to the second carbon, so, so it's a two methyl, and then we have uh, the first and the third bond is an uh, is a double bond, so it's one three diene, eh? but one three, the four carbon right, but one three diene. Eh? However, this name, this two methyl but one three diene, is less important. They seldom ask you about this name, but usually they will ask you about this name, isoprene. Eh? Is isoprene an alkene? Yes, it's an alkene. It's a diene. Eh? It's considered alkene. Because it has this uh, the functional groups of alkene. Each monomer molecule has two double bond and thus known as diene. Coagulations of latex. So this is latex. Eh? Okay, this uh, rubber milk is called latex. And this latex, if you leave it under the normal condition, you leave it for uh, quite some time. Let's say for eight hours, ten hours, uh, it will coagulate. You can see that eh? this part of the latex already coagulates. And this part also, you see, all these are uh, the, is the coagulated latex. Coagulations means that from the liquid it turned into a solid. Eh? Initially, it's liquid, like right? right? Okay, the latex is liquid, then it's uh, it turned into solid. So that is uh, that that process is called coagulations. Eh? To discuss coagulations of latex, so we need to know what happens. Okay, what happens during this coagulation of latex? Eh? Okay, why latex can coagulate? Now, each rubble particles consists of rubble molecules which are enveloped by, enveloped by protein membrane. What does this mean? Eh? Okay, now just now we learned that rubber molecule is a, is a polymer, it's a very long chain. So this, every line, uh, this line, uh, all this line uh, represent a uh, rubber molecule. It's a very long chain molecule. So all of these are all of these are rubber molecules. So all these rubber molecules uh, is enveloped by protein membrane. Means that this molecule uh, is covered by one layers of a uh, membrane, me protein membrane. It's keep inside the protein membrane. So that's the very first thing that you need to know. Uh. The rubber molecule. It can be thousands of rubber molecules. Okay. Put inside and uh, we call this an envelope. Okay, put inside an envelope of uh, by a protein membrane. So this is a protein membrane. Then the protein membranes are negatively charged on its outer surface. So this is the protein membrane, and then it has negative charge. Okay, it has negative charge eh, in the outer surface. So that's the second thing that you need to know. Okay. And then we know that if these envelopes of uh, this uh, rubber and these envelopes of rubbers, if they carry the same charge, eh, all carry negative charge on the surface, eh, then they will repel each other. So like charges repel, the repelling force exists between the rubber particles, which cause the particles to be separated from one another. So there's a force that push them away, so they, they don't get close to each other. If they don't get close to each other, then they will exist as a liquid form. Eh? They will exist as a liquid form. And this prevents the bondings of the rubber particles and thus prevents coagulations of latex. Eh? So the negative charge on the membranes prevent the coagulations of latex. However, if you put this uh, latex uh, under normal conditions, so at normal temperature, you put it for one day, so then it will coagulate. Okay, it will coagulate. So why? Will it coagulate? Why it coagulates? 
So for uh, latex, if you add liquid inside and then you try to stir it, it will coagulate within about 30 seconds. Okay, about 30 seconds that it will coagulate. If you leave it inside the room, then it will coagulate after maybe 10, 10 to 20 hours. Huh? Now why? Why when we add acid, it will coagulate? Huh? Make sure that you know how to answer these questions huh? because this is a, f a famous question huh? in the exam. In latex, the rubber molecules are enveloped by protein membrane and form the rubber particles. The protein membranes are negatively charged. As a result, the rubber particles repel each other, causing the particles to be separated. This prevents the coagulations of latex. So this explains why in normal conditions, uh, the latex will not coagulate. Uh, okay, so we have learned this just now, right? Okay, so let's say this is the rubble's uh, particles. Uh, Okay, so there's a membrane. There's a membrane. And this membrane carry negative charge. Eh? They carry negative charge. So since they carry the same charge, so they will repel. They will repel each other. Eh? So that's the first thing that you need to tell. Eh? Okay, so why, why they do not coagulate under the normal conditions? So when acid is added to latex, hydrogen ions in the acid will neutralize the negative charge on the protein membrane. Just now we learned that the molecule is enveloped inside, uh, enveloped by a membrane, and the membrane carry negative charge, right? But inside acid, there is a lot of hydrogen ion, right? So the hydrogen ions inside the acid, it will neutralize. Okay, it will neutralize the charge on the surface of the membrane. So the hydrogen neutralize the charge on the surface of the membrane. And after we neutralize the charge, then this uh, parcel, uh, this envelope or parcels, then they, just now they, can, they will re repel each other's right? But after we neutralize the charge on the surface, then they can get close to each other's and they might collide with each other. Now, this is the important statement. Eh? Okay. So the two statements that I, that I give you just now, that one, it depends on the questions. Okay. It depends on the questions. Some, in some questions, you can skip that. But this one, you must have it eh, in your answer. The hydrogen ion neutralize the negative charge on the, the protein membrane. Then, the neutral rubber particles collide with each other, causing the protein membrane broken. The rubber molecules are released and combined and, and hence causing the, the latex coagulate. So after the membrane is broken, so, so this molecule, the rubber molecule is released. So then they all join together like this. Okay, they all join together. Before this is inside the parcel, right? Okay. But uh, after the membrane is broken, uh, then they all join together like this, and the rubber coagulate. Okay, why uh, the latex coagulates if left for a few days? Now, if you left it actually more than ten hours, uh, it will start coagulate already. Actually, this is uh, the statement that explains why it does not coagulate. So after a few days, the bacteria in the latex feeds on the protein membrane and produce lactic acid. Okay, so this protein membrane is a food for bacteria. So bacteria, it will try to uh, dissolve the, the membrane and then at the same time, it produces lactic acid. Now this lactic acid, it will neutralize the negative charge on the protein membrane. This will cause the, the neutral rubber particles collide with, with each other and the rubber molecules release and combine and hence cause the latex to coagulate. The explanation is almost the same. The only thing that you need to explain is if the, the latex is leave for a few days, the bacteria will try to uh, dissolve the, the, the membrane, the, the protein membrane, and it will uh, produce lactic acid and that acid will neutralize the charge on the surface. So explain why latex will not coagulate when ammonia is added into it. So if ammonia is added into a latex, the hydroxide ion presence in the ammonia will neutralize the hydrogen ion from acid produced by the bacteria in latex.
So ammonia, it will neutralize the acid. Eh? And after the acid is neutralized, then it cannot neutralize the charge on the membrane, right? So the negative charges will remain on the rubber particles and the coagulations of LaTeX is prevented. So we prevent coagulations by using ammonia, which is, is an alkali. So acid can cause the coagulations of LaTeX and alkali can prevent the coagulations of LaTeX.